Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. Yes, finally the campus placements for 2020 has kicked off. In our campus, our department Swiss India has declared a PPO and that's the first placement of the season. I am going to make a dedicated video on Swiss India this Sunday on the entire procedure of selecting interns converting them to PPOs, uh, what is the entire procedure. But today I am here to help you guys with the on-campus selection procedure and where are you going to practice your aptitude from your general aptitude, your technical aptitude, your GD questions, your PI questions, what is going to be the way of preparation and how you can bag a job on campus. I'm here to help you with the available websites or the available resources that you can refer to while preparing for on-campus placements. Yes, you heard me correct. And the companies are hiring in numbers yes as expected the number of companies that's coming to on campus are relatively less um, uh, particularly in Jadapur University I can see for myself uh, the companies do uh, come by this time of the year but this time the companies are quite less in number but yet there is no sign of disappointment because the strongest warriors are born in the toughest of the times trust me me standing or sitting in front of you has been rejected in seven aptitudes and four or five interviews and then I have cracked the company that I am currently working with and I hope that I will go by and find better opportunities for myself. I am going to do something for myself but I am with you so that you can also do something for yourself. Never get disappointed, never give up on yourself because people are going to give up on you. So I am here with uh, some of the basic questions that have been asked quite randomly and quite frequently by people time and again that where to prepare the aptitude, the GD and the PI for the three main rounds that generally a company uh, do conduct. So firstly, let me tell you when uh, the general aptitude is a common thing that is like asked by every company you need to appear for this general aptitude test that is being conducted by every company some companies hire proctors like amcat uh, hire pro but some companies prefer to do it by themselves some companies do prefer the age-old method of uh, still uh, ticking or selecting those mcqs on pen and paper instead of going on platform online platform uh, the companies that i'm talking about are mn dastur sipla they still uh, make the people appear for the technical aptitude uh, ticking or marking the correct answer among the mcq so this is a unique thing that is still being continued by many companies so get prepared for that as as well uh, other companies do hire proctors like amcat and hire pro as i've already mentioned you will get their questions online as well amcat papers hire pro papers are available online but my tip for preparation for the aptitude 2020 for any company is going to be pariksha.com yes i have time and again suggested people please go to this website pariksha.com they uh, do give you opportunities to solve aptitudes for free so just register to their website and every now and then you are going to get quant aptitudes keep on solving them in fact i have practiced a lot from that site uh, when i was not getting selected in the aptitude test and after that uh, it sharpened my skills it reduced the time which I was consuming to solve the problems, your efficiency is going to be surely increased. So Pariksha.com is the right platform for you to prepare for aptitude and it's completely and absolutely free. So I am telling this for students who cannot afford uh, like an institute or to go to a person uh, with money so that they can crack an interview. Not many people do actually uh, provide material or resources, particularly for interview preparation. Uh, we are trying to do our best to reach to people so that they can prepare well for the interview. Now coming to the GD, uh, particularly, you will have to be updated. Read Live Mint. I will suggest read Live Mint get the subscription of Live Mint or get it from one of your friends if your friends have Live Mint because Live Mint is a platform where you will get financial figures. Yes, try to remember figures, try to remember numbers, try to remember those bills like recently this uh, cooperative banks have been associated to the RBI, this uh, bank amendment bill has come, the farmers bill, the three farmers bill that has been controversial, they have been uh, uh, allotted, the occupational health bill for the laborers have been amended recently. Remember this bills, remember the numbers, remember the figures, uh, MSP regarding the farmers bill, how much do uh, uh, companies provide, how much do companies invest on this uh, particular ventures, uh, remember shares, uh, remember about capitalist figures like Reliance doing business, study about those figures because 
then this live mint platform and read newspapers most importantly read newspapers start with times of india finish with statesman statesman is very is very tough i would say uh, in terms of its language but if you go through times of india you will get much accustomed to the type of things that is uh, uh, popping up delhi in the newspaper and then once you get accustomed go to statesman i would suggest so statesman times of india uh this uh, live mint uh, these three platforms i would uh, specially suggest uh, to study dedicated financial figures economic figures because these are not only going to help you in the gd uh, in the group discussion round but also going to help you ahead like if you appear for government examinations where a gk will be a part of the examination or even if you like appear for cat interview these type of questions do mostly come in the interview pop up in the interview and if you're not prepared well enough then you are going to suffer so for gd particularly go for this topics you can also refer to the two videos that we have earlier made on gd that seven techniques in a gd room when you're going for a group discussion that are, that has to be practiced so as to get yourself selected firstly secondly how to approach an unknown topic in a in a gd you cannot know everything you have to be prepared well enough but how to slip in the things that you know in between conversations on topics that you don't know how to learn about those topics i've made a dedicated video on that as well so refer to those two videos apart from this the most important thing when you are appearing for an aptitude and the gd after when you clear those two rounds you appear for an interview and the most important thing that's going to work here is your cv we have made a dedicated video on how to prepare your cv a 30 minute long video please refer to that and watch it till the end so that you get an idea what to keep and what not to keep in your cv so dedicatedly watch this watch that video after you are done with your cv preparation after you submitted for the pi technical questions are going to be asked so let me tell you one more platform where you can find actually technical questions both in terms of aptitude and you can also find some general aptitude questions and gd topics india picks yes very famous platform gd topics you can prepare from india picks you can also you can particularly prepare for technical aptitude from india picks so technical aptitude and gd topics from india picks uh, general aptitude from pradeeksha.com read live mint read newspapers like statesman and uh, times of india i would suggest also you can go through telegraph uh, refer to our videos on cv making gd topics particularly and apart from that when you come to the pi refer to our videos dedicated to chemical engineering core topics that are generally approached in a pi if you are from chemical engineering or mechanical engineering in particular if you are from other branches you can refer to other nptel videos or particularly dedicated videos on placements or on interviews what are the questions that are generally asked apart from this uh, you can refer to india bex as i have already mentioned uh, so try to go through your topics try to revise up brush up on the things that you have learned in the curriculum for 3 or 4 years because that's what they basically ask you twisted and turned if your concept is clear you going to crack it so this is me saying this after a rejection from 11 companies i have possibly attended all types of interviews i have attended bank interview i have attended psu interview i have attended uh, this company interview that i'm working for i have attended fmcg interview where i have cracked my internship i have got rejected in several interviews and i have possibly attended all types of interviews that one can attend i have attended byju's interview cracked it as well so business analytics interview zs associates interview so different profiles interview be prepared from every domain that is one thing and keep your mind open do not sit for particular companies this is a year of pandemic and you have to be open to any situation any company that comes your way my suggestion to my juniors my uh, young guys and girls that are watching this video do appear for all the interviews that you are entitled to appear for if you are getting an opportunity do appear for it it will at least fetch you an experience if not anything else at least an experience will be there of appearing in an interview and you are going to learn, learn in the process and improve yourself so you can do it cry uh, do anything cry if you are not selected break out shout out of anger but do not do one thing do not give up on yourself fight back fight back till you get it because we will do it together i am there with you we will do it together and if you like our page like it share it subscribe uh, to our channel we will keep on bringing uh, updated videos about placements and other things as well miscellaneous videos thank you very much